Hi, welcome to 123 Radiology Channel. This is ultrasound case number four. A 47 years old female presented with right inguinal swelling since one year. The swelling is painless, no redness overlying the swelling. The patient has a history of right inguinal hernioplasty. Here's a cine clip of ultrasound examination through the right inguinal swelling. This is another cine clip. Okay, let's see the answer. As you can see, there is an irregular shaped hypoechoic mass lesion at the site of swelling. The lesion is located at the subcutaneous layer. No mobile echoes are noted within the lesion. There is a linear parallel lines are noted within it, suggestive of a suture material. On color Doppler examination that is not shown here, there was no internal vascularity. These ultrasound features are highly suggestive of suture granuloma. Suture granuloma is a benign, granulomatous inflammatory lesion that may occur after a surgical intervention in which non-absorbable sutures were used. Such a lesion usually develops slowly and may remain asymptomatic for many years. Histologically, suture granuloma is characterized by a histiocytic reaction with foreign body, giant cells around the sutures. It can occur at any part of the body, depending on the location of the surgical intervention, but most commonly after inguinal hernioplasty. On ultrasound, suture granuloma appears as a hypoechoic mass with hyperechoic single or double lines inside, representing suture material. The diagnosis of suture granuloma is important in patients treated for cancer because the condition may resemble local tumor recurrence. Clinical findings, history, and even the imaging features may be misleading. In PET-CT, suture granuloma may be FDG-AVID, mimicking neoplasm.